Okay, it's no longer in news that Mubad, the former signee of Naira Mali, was declared dead on September 12th, and videos like this has been circulating online. To be for one, they say it's to be for arm. But that's not the case here. The thing is, Mobad clearly said this. Now they are trying to kill me. Everybody in the whole world, please help me if I die. Amali am even now, Amali kill me. So, the question now is, do we still hold Nairamali even after so many months of their fallout and him going ahead to do his own thing without Nairamali? Well, let's find out. But if you are new to the channel, please do make sure you subscribe to our channel for more videos like this every day. Mobad, whose real name is Promise Oladmeji Aloba, first rose to prominence as part of Nairamali's Malian record label. His tunes and unique style quickly garnered him a devoted following, especially in the streets of Lagos and other parts of Nigeria. Notable among his chart topping tracks are Omo, Feel Good, and Sensational KPK, a collaboration with Rezi. This particular track earned him three nominations at the Hades Awards in 2022, showcasing his undeniable talent. But his sudden death and details surrounding it is not clear yet, but there is more to the death than a natural cause. It will be recorded that the whole issue started in February 2022 when the National Drug Log Enforcement Agency arrested Mobad along with his fellow musicians in Oliski and four others in their home in Lekki. <coughs> The arrest was made following the discovery of hard drugs including MDA and weeds in their house. If you can remember then, Mubad made a decision of parting ways with Malian Records in 2022 after a public dispute between Mubad and his former label boss, Naira Mali. You mean your girl. So I don't know these people are behaving on me. They have been dreaming about things on me. I went mad into it because of this issue. Now they are trying to kill me. Mobad accused Naira Mali of domestic violence, alleging that he had been physically assaulted on the orders of his former mentor. And this is not just an accusation. There are a lot of video evidence to this as well. According to Mobad, the whole issue started when he wanted to hire a different manager to oversee his music career and business affairs. In his words, he said, just because I want to change my manager, see what they did to me. He also clearly stated that he was not drunk or high in case they want to use it against him. Well, guess what Naira Mali said in a video. Next. I don't have to catch him. He said he wants to fucking change manager or something like that. Oh, him and his manager is having an argument. His manager is not my brother. I don't know what he's saying. He's obviously probably high. But when he get in the right state of mind, he's going to explain himself and apologize as usual. He's just biting everybody, bro. But he said he's not high. I said, Mobad, what's high? Go in the car, bro. The same thing Mobad cried out about. Naira Mali then went ahead to post this on social media, saying that Mobad has a history of getting intoxicated, which affects his emotions and action. However, all issues will be resolved amicably within the record label. And five days later, Mobad was spotted in a video with Naira Mali, which he posted on March 2nd, 2022, with the caption, As a Malian. The video also featured Zinoliski and temporarily put the rumors about trouble in the Malian music to rest. But the thing is, it was just a cover up to make it seem like everything is fine. In fact, a few weeks later, Mobad left the label and started immolization his own record level. But as you already know, the contract that he had with Naira Mali is still legally binded, therefore restricting his success and his royalties were not paid by Naira Mali. All these, what do they call the people that do shows? Show promoters. Uh, show promoters, yeah. They didn't want to pick me for shows because, should I tell you? Yeah. Because I left the label and if they want to reach out to me, they still go back to the label and the label keeps saying that um, that boy is not really okay here, like he's going through a lot. And, and according to Belashmoda, he fell into depression and wanted to kill himself then. It's what well, we say this. At the point, me and Mubad were in an apartment and Mubad was like, he wants to jump from the upstairs because of this label issue. But we go hold this boy for window. Mubad don't almost jump on my, my girlfriend just enter the room, see Mubad sit down for window. Ah! Because of all these things, bruh, you can't, you can't just keep going on that. And these people are just for me, there's nothing happening. Something is happening. And it's not just that. After leaving Malian's record, he tried doing it on his own. He dropped the Bless Up EP, but he never got much attention until now in his death. 
This, including substance abuse, got hold of him as he was evident in all his interviews. Mubad was later seen publicly on Sunday the 10th during the DeGeneres campaign with Chief Priest and other celebrities in Ikorodu and that was his last performance before his death. <laughs> And during the late hours of September 12, this video was posted by his close associate on his dismissal, and that was the end of the youngster. According to Instablog, he died after receiving an injection of ear infection. But if truly that he had an infection, there are very important questions that need urgent answers. Like what kind of infection did he have? What is the name of the infection? Who gave the injection? What part of the body was the injection given? Because it could be that he is allergic to the medicine injected on him. And depending on how severe the allergic reaction is to the medication, it can result in severe allergic response which can eventually lead to death. And according to close associates of Mubad, he passed out after the injection. But according to Lusmat the dancer, a close friend of his, he did not die because of the infection. Something else happened. And this is the statement released by his wife. In her words, Mubad struggled till death. So the big question now is, does Naira Mali have a hand in the death of Mubad? Well, we are still waiting for more information about that. But what is certain is that Naira Mali made the last few months of his life a living hell. And in the investigation of Mubad's death, Naira Mali should be the prime suspect. So there you have it. Thanks for watching today's Africa. Please do make sure you subscribe to our channel for more videos like this every day. Allah, <laughs> <laughs>